All right, so a lot of people have had questions on my homemade hog gate that I made, cellular gate. So I'm gonna give a quick rundown on uh, how I built this thing, what I used. Um, the gate itself, that actually slides, is just an old gate that we use on a horse barn. I just put a, a hog panel, welded it to it. I made me a frame out of some two by two square tubing. My gate that they actually hit is on the inside, so it hits against the frame whenever they uh, hit the gate after it closes. Uh, and on the enclosure, it's a five foot tall, uh, eight foot long panels. I just used one by one square tubing, welded some goat panels to it, which was four by four squares. Um, when I originally had this set up, uh, I had bar here I had this bar it was on this and it pulled this direction out from underneath the gate uh, I did away with that I was having a lot of problems with hogs bumping the side of the fence and knocking the gate closed or whenever you call it it would slide the gate sideways and lodge and not actually close. Uh, so I'm using a rotary latch now, and I'll show you all that in a minute. But it hooks to a bolt underneath here. Uh, my cable, I've got a just a cable with a latch on it here and a turnbuckle, so I can get it fairly tight. You do have to have a little bit of slack uh, with the pull solenoid uh, because it is electromagnet so if it's too tight it can't pull. Uh, but I have just enough slack that when it's tightened all the way it's ready uh, I've got everything inside of an ammo can and I just have it bolted to the frame so I'll uh, bring y'all in and show you all that So basically what I've got here is this is a 3G RTU5024 GSM relay. Um, 3G is going away, so I'm going to have to switch to a 4G. Um, but it's going to be the same principle with the 4G. Um, you just change the SIM card out. But that takes a SIM card using an AT&T prepaid SIM card. It's $100 a year. Um, this right here is a door popper for a shaved uh, door handles for a car so that right there is a 60 pound pull which is more than plenty to uh, pull that cable out you can see the cable comes out here and uh, you're going to have to have some sort of uh, relay or solenoid for it to go through I got a pack of, the, a pack of five of these for twelve dollars on Amazon, and uh, it comes with a wiring diagram. But basically, what happens is you call this GSM's phone number. When it receives the phone call, it forwards the call, so it never actually uses any of the minutes. Um, it sends a signal through this relay, and for one second. It's sending power to this, and that pulls this latch. This is the rotary latch I was telling you about. I got this on a tripod. I'm going to have to shorten it up so you can see. Anyway, that's the rotary latch, and it's just a bolt underneath there that it's hooked to. So, um, on these, you program however many phone numbers you want to put in there, 0 to 100. Um, if, you're, if the phone number that calls this gate is not on that 
what they call a whitelist, the gate will not set off. So if a telemarketer gets your phone number, you don't have to worry about you know them setting off your gate. And uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, you just wire everything up, make sure all your connections are good. I put it in an ammo can to uh, you know keep a keep it you know waterproof. And uh, I just use rubber grommets where my wires go out. I've only got two holes where wires go out. This one is my antenna, which I just stick on top of the gate. It's got a magnet on it. And then I have two wires that go out of the bottom, which is my uh, black and red power wires. And I just have alligator clamps onto a battery. So it's fairly cheap to do. You're looking at hundred bucks at the most if you go with 4G uh, on the lower end. Now you can get some that are you know three or four hundred dollars, which is kind of ridiculous. Uh, for what you're using, you know this is perfectly fine. The 3Gs are like forty bucks, and they'll last you until I think 2021, somewhere about mid year. They'll be doing away with 3G. You know five of these for 12 bucks and that's a 30 to 40 amp uh, door popper is going to run you about 15 bucks um, the rotary latch you're going to look at probably if you can go to a junkyard the latch is actually the same thing as like a hood latch or a door latch for some of the older vehicles um, tractor hood latches about the same but uh anyway let me back up and show you a little bit of the pin itself i've caught 31 hogs here pretty sure i'm about done um, we're gonna let the camera sit another night or two just to make sure but haven't seen any sign of anything but uh so that's how i'm running my homemade hog gate if you have any other questions, uh, comment, call me, message me, whatever. Um, so, anyway, trying to help y'all.